Hey, it's Lucas. I want to show this. Uh, this is an Atlas 12 by whatever. You know, the 12 inch dimension is the is the distance from here to the ways. It's a headstock off a lathe, and uh, I believe they actually uh, use this for the Sears Craftsman as well. And it would be the 101 series. I've I've got the numbers. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll put them uh, as a text box here uh, in the video. But I just wanted to show what kind of shape this is in. I, I'm just amazed. This thing looks like it's, I mean, it's been used a little bit. You can see there's uh, V grooves or grooves here in the, in the uh, V for the pulleys, but they certainly are, are very light. I mean, they're, they're just barely discernible with a fingernail. In fact, they're not even discernible with a fingernail. That one is a little bit. But anyhow, there's very little wear on the, on the Vs on the pulley. Uh, the uh, Zamac gears uh, on the outboard side here are perfect. They just look wonderful. There's not a break in them. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, evidence of, of wear on, uh, on, on a couple of these tumblers, but uh, boy, they, are, they just look, really look good. The, this one here, too, uh, looks great. Every, everything. This compound gear, both sides of it look great. So uh, there, there is one issue with it that... Uh, that I've noticed it looks like this uh, this little handle here has been broken out it's still functioning it works just fine but uh, it's a little oh it's a little boogered up and a little piece of it just fell off there so it's it's uh, it's maybe deteriorating uh, th this piece only all the other ZMAC parts on the uh, on the headstock they look uh, look just phenomenal the back gear take a look at that there's a back gear system not a break, not not a break in any of the teeth. Look at these. This is an aluminum uh, aluminum cut gear, and these are part of the back gear uh, system. So when you're not uh, going directly from the pulley to the spindle, you go from the pulley to this gear here, 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 to the spindle. And uh, these these gears, they just look like they haven't been used. Another interesting thing. Uh, it's got the uh, index holes here, and these index holes, there's, there's not even a line from one hole to the next. So, I mean, this gear is just like like brand new, and uh, the uh, index pin is here, and uh, everything's working great on that. It just uh, locks into place perfectly. You cannot, cannot move it once it's like that. Yeah. Anyway, this thing is looking really good. Uh, let's take a look here at this pin. So this is the pin used for the, you know, to decouple this pulley, the uh, the V-belt pulley from from the bull gear. So now if we engage the back gear like that, then the power transmission goes, you know, from here directly to this. And the, these two remain coupled all the time. And back through this one. This becomes a compound gear then because both these gears are in the same shaft to this one. And then because we've decoupled the, uh, this gear from here, now when we turn the belt, the pulley goes at a, a round but at a much slower, much slower speed. So that's our back gear system, essentially. So uh, if we put this back in, it'll just drop right in here, right there, like that. So that's the uh, that's the headstock man. It looks great. It's got the original switch on it with the uh, all the all the uh, engravings look good on it. I'm guessing the switch is okay underneath this tape. It certainly would need to be uh, you know to have new wires run to the motor, but uh, uh, from your power to your motor. But uh, everything else looks great. I'm 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 guessing that the switch is okay. A close up of the spindle. And uh, there's a, that's just a little dirt right there. The uh, socket is perfect. There's no, there's no grooving in it. It's a number three Morse taper. And I believe this is an inch and a half by eight threads per inch on the outside, a fairly common uh, shaft or a spindle attachment method. So uh, let's just take a look. We'll put the, the uh, tumbler in, in gear, take it out of gear, put it in neutral, and then put it in reverse. Everything's working on that. 
It's got uh, Timken roller bearings. Uh, I believe they're tapered roller bearings, uh, rear and front. They do have oilers on them. The oilers are in great shape. Here we can get an idea what the profile of these pulleys look like. They're just phenomenal. Okay. All right, well, hey, this is Lucas with this great Atlas headstock from a 12-inch lake.